This is a tutorial on the use of responsibility codes in the Accounts Payable module. Responsibility codes are used to categorize your invoices into various groupings. For example, you may uh, want to categorize them by department, employee, uh, various business units, brokers, salespersons. But once you have any records populated in this screen, you will be required when entering your Accounts Payable invoices through the regular Accounts Payable Invoice Entry Screen, AP 1100, or the Repetitive Invoice Entry Screen, you'll be required at that point to always enter a responsibility code. Now, if you find that, uh, for example, 90% of your invoices are uh, uh, salesperson's commissions, and then you have the 10% that really don't fall into that category, but you wish to only enter uh, meaningful responsibility codes for your uh, salesperson commissions, then we recommend just for the remaining 10% that don't really fall into that category that you, you set up a responsibility code that falls with either in the beginning or the ending range of the responsibility code so that when you're running the responsibility code report which we'll discuss in a few moments that uh, you don't have to include uh, that particular responsibility code within your range so just we wouldn't recommend taking responsibility code that would fall into the middle of the range for these type of um, uh, invoices. So we're going to query in the screen here to see what we already have set up and we have uh, three responsibility codes and we're going to add one more responsibility code in here called uh, purchasing uh, department. And we'll save that record. Now we're going to fast track into the AP invoice entry screen and quickly enter an invoice using responsibility codes. I'll do a list of values just to uh, quickly find a vendor here. Now at this point when I try to uh, navigate past the responsibility code it'll uh, prompt me to enter the responsibility code. So I can do a list of values at this point and uh, select uh, whatever I wish from the list of values. What that will do now is as I'm entering my GL distribution uh, the responsibility code will default on the detail line. And I can uh, cursor over here or navigate my mouse over here and change the responsibility code. So what's entered in the header block is used as a default in the detail block. In this case, I'm going to leave it the way it is. And I now will enter my uh, second GL account. And at this point here, I wish to uh, change my responsibility code here. So we'll clear out this field. and uh, do a list of values and uh, select uh, another responsibility code here and save our record. So uh, so what we've done is we've taken the responsibility code and assigned them to various uh, GL transaction lines that we have entered in on our AP invoice entry screen. We have a report in the system called the expenditures by responsibility code and what this does is it takes a look at the GL distribution that we have on all our invoices and based upon the various ranges that we enter in on the screen and our sort by selection we can print by the responsibility code GL account or the GL account responsibility code and uh, see a reporting with uh, subtotals by uh, responsibility code and the GL accounts. You can also write your own uh, queries if you have a utility to do that. And we do store the responsibility code in the header block of the AP invoice entry screen and in the detail block, meaning the GL distribution uh, lines. So uh, you can extract the information however you wish. By the way, if you don't like to use the uh, code of responsibility code, uh, you might want to change it to something else that's more meaningful to your company, like uh, business unit. Uh, something of that nature. You could always edit these forms and uh, change the prompt to something more meaningful. This concludes the tutorial on the responsibility codes.